Today, let's talk about get home bags. We'll do that right now. All right, in light of current events, I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm not going to give my opinions on anything political or with what's going on or why it's going on. What I'm going to talk about is how to get out of Dodge. So, let's go over some bags. All right, the get home bag is designed to keep us alive long enough to get home. If we're caught in a situation where we have to maybe hoof it out of a city or our car broke down or you're caught in a blizzard or anything like that so it can be seasonal if you're in the winter time you're going to want to have more hand warmers heavy socks gloves and uh, wool caps and things like that summertime you're going to be a little more uh, keep extra t-shirts and things that you can swap out for when you get sweaty but right now it's we're going into summer it's getting hot so we're not going to worry so much about heavy clothing but a get home bag does not have to be your entire trunk load. It does not have to be a huge duffel bag. Now the one I carry, this is the Fox Tactical. This is the uh, medium transport bag. Now if I was caught in a situation where I was trying to go, I'm never going to be gray man. I don't believe that I can really fit in that much. Uh, but if I was going to try to blend in a little more, I'd probably remove like my DPMS patches and maybe even this brightly colored, you know, just the Fox Tactical patch. Try not to bring so much attention to myself. And those are Velcroed on. They can come right off and you're not selling out on any of your beliefs or your ideals. You're just wanting to be unnoticed, get home to your family. So... It's not the time to worry about that. But in a get home bag, we're looking for some way to keep water clean so that you can drink water because that's going to be a, a, your main thing, one of your main things. Uh, you can keep some calories in there like bags of peanuts, uh, trail mixes, things like that, just to keep you energized with enough calories just to get you home. Uh, but I would carry a little more than you think it's going to take just in case but mainly water a little bit of food depending on how far you think you're going to have to go extra socks for sure uh, even me I carry extra underwear and I carry this stuff in a dry bag because you ever try to cross the creek <laughs> sometimes you fall in and then you're miserable because you're soggy so I carry extra stuff like that so I carry a little bit bigger bag just for a get home bag now there's other options now, like this little range bag right here. This is just a simple bag. You throw over your shoulder. I'm going to try to move this camera here so you can see a little bit better how it hangs. But it just, down here, and it's adjustable. It's got plenty of pockets. Now, really, you don't need this many pockets because then things get to be confusing. So know where your stuff's at. If you have extra magazines for your sidearm or anything like that, know exactly where that's at. If you're going to keep them in the pockets, uh, don't put them, just toss them in there willy-nilly because uh, if you really need those, you don't want to have to go digging through it to get to that stuff. Okay, also, like I said, right now, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. So, like wearing my High Point 1992 original, I won this in a photo contest. How you like that? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Don't ever go on and read the uh, reviews of your photos, people. People are mean. Uh, anyway, so wearing the tactical looking, you know, the Crip Tech with the American flag on it and stuff. And like I said, this isn't selling out my values. This is just trying to get home. So I would swap that out probably with something more like this. This is just a hat I got when I bought my Jeep. Uh, this doesn't look so much like I'm a guy that's trying to get in a fight or anything like that or wanting to, you know, it just looks like a guy that's. Wanting to go drink some beer on the weekend and go out in the woods with his four-wheel drive. So, keep that in mind. So, it's not just about eating and drinking and uh, weapons. It can be about, you know, kind of go a little more covert. When I started karate, one of the first things 
that our instructor told us that at the end of the day, the objective is to go home. So that is the whole reason to have a get home bag or if you've got concealed carry, it's because you want to go home. It's That's it. I mean, that's your whole purpose. So figure out what it's going to take for you to get home, to survive, to get home to see your family. Like and subscribe. I know this was just a quick video. Uh, I'm up, been drinking coffee for a couple hours, so I'm kind of wound up, ready to go. But y'all take it easy. I'll talk at you later.